Yes, lucky winner. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna have You good? You see no way I say you got for everybody. They're about? No. Yeah. And they can keep happening, sir. Yeah. Watch out for the microchip, right? Yeah. Man, what put the video? Yeah. Ah, you good, buddy. You good. Must check out my videos on YouTube, man. So you can yeah, catch up. Yeah. GMS guy, I know. GMS guy, I know. Yeah. Subscribe, you want. Yeah, brother. You see that? <laughs> you see that? Yeah. That's the spread the Lord, bro. Spread the Lord. We got, I got my witness. I got my witness. You remember we? Good night, good night. You remember, you know? And that's and that's that's what the most I want. The most I want is men to be glorified. Right? So the invisible thing, I just mentioned it. The invisible thing of him from creation of the world are clearly seen. He see it after we prophesy it. He saw it after we prophesied. And we didn't do it on our own. Obviously, we give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakaq, And we, 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 um, we stand here anyway, just in case you want to get a little hectic or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because we know Jake already. We ain't about that life. Yeah, because Jake is on it. Yeah. Not necessarily our father, but yeah, we could have tell by you soon, but you know, we always, we always have fast and we get a sensation. But sometimes we get a negative um, interruption. Kind of but yeah, you know, the most I can um, let our work, won't let our work fall. Every word, because our word is the most I work. Exactly, exactly. Right? So, really and truly, the most I wouldn't let his words fall. Exactly, you know? exactly. It says, uh, for the invisible, there's Romans 1 and 20, for the invisible things of him from creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. They are without excuse. Because every week, every day, videos are going up. So you have no excuse when judgment come. And then that take a woman, oh, she can feel the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Because she was so willingly ignorant. All right? She wants peace and safety in this wicked ass kingdom. But the Lord tell, telling us to endure hardness until he comes. All right? We are second to seven to me, Babusha. And the scripture says, let me get to the details. You gotta keep, you gotta stop worrying about this shit hard. This is so cool. You can't just be doing that shit all the time because what's happened? It's become bitter. Right? Watch it right here. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 10. Neither murmur ye as son of them. As some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. All right? They're going back to the time of uh, Moses. All right? Uh, give me a second. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this light affliction is for our profit. All right, the scripture says, Who the most I chastise it, that's who we love it. Who the most I love, he corrects. 
It's only them little, them little snotty nose. Them little snotty nose. <laughs> 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 Taking me then on two thirds of Israel out there that the most I ain't got time with. Because what? They, they are they are stubborn and stiff necked. You know what I'm saying? Where that? What? What? Second Andrews chapter 7 of verse 1. He says, And when I had made an end to speak in these words, were sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the night before. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, And angels, oh. yeah, angels visit us and, and reveal things unto us. We we just don't sit on one day and, and lean on, we don't understand it. Because the most, and this is how, and how we know it's proof. The Spirit shows us because we go through the scriptures. We go through the scriptures and we try the Spirit. We try the Spirit to make sure that there's a message from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. A righteous message according to His word. All right? You hear that? Set on to me. Oh, yes. Is set in a white place uh -huh. that it might be deep and great, but what case the entrance were narrow and like a river. So, this is the type of stuff that we got to go through, right? So, the path is set between two things, whether it says, Who then could go into the sea uh -huh. to look upon it and to rule it? Good. So if you don't go through the narrow, how could you come into a broad? It's like a, a channel to go into the what the great the great sea. Yeah. Right? And this is what the most tight is a is a tight is a is a tight wind. You come real close. The scripture says if the righteous is scarcely saved, what can happen to them that wicked? Never yeah, though. If the righteous scarcely save, they barely make it. Because not much people sign up for moral values. Sign up for right. Not much people care about that shit. All people care about is their own selfish needs. You know? Where that? He says, Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and rule it not went through the narrow how could he go how could he come into the broad there is also another thing a city is built and set upon a broad field and that city is the kingdom of heaven all right set upon a broad field is the world right up? and it's full of all good things mm -hmm. the entrance you see where the really good things are in the kingdom you think they don't hear right up? entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall mm -hmm. like as if there were a fire on the right mm -hmm. and on the left a deep water All right fire on the right and on the left a deep water because the fire represents you fall not the truth you know you're being burnt by the word and the water means you're, you're falling deeper into what darkness because the, the water is so deep in the earth that you don't even see sunlight coming through. You know what I'm saying? Where that? And it says, and one only part between them both. One part. And it doesn't say the it doesn't it doesn't say if the part is is straight or if it's bent. You don't know where that go through this part. But you on the you on the part. And it might feel like it's you alone, but the most I set up men, set up certain people to what, keep us afloat. That's why we say exhort. That's why scripture says exhort each other daily in Hebrews. Read up. And it says, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Mm -hmm. Oh, Salakio, verse 8. And one only part between them both, even between the fire and the water, 
so small that there could only one man go there at once. Yeah. If this city is now given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall come back later set for it, uh -huh. how shall he receive his inheritance? Right. So if we don't come past the dangers, how we how we gonna get this inheritance? If we don't come past these trials and tribulations, this is a test for kingship. This is a test for godhood. This is a test for power. And you don't give power to irresponsible people. You don't give power to undisciplined people. You don't give power to nonchalant people. You don't give power to lascivious people because Isa is the exact the perfect example you know Isa putting in the most work for do the opposite of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and Israel two thirds of Israel is taking it upon themselves for, for challenge this man for outdo this shit because Jacob is doing some outlandish shit look at look at we look at we men and women bro these niggas doing the most bro Right yeah. Says, if this city were now given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before him, yeah. how shall he receive his inheritance? And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so is Israel's portion. Yeah. Because you know, in order for us to inherit the kingdom, we gotta go through all these difficulties. You know? It will make it strong. And this clearly show that the, that the kingdom is only for Israel. And it's only for the strong. But now and everybody can go through that. Because you know, part of the portion was also the slaves, right? It was also, you know, all the, the punishment that we went through, right? You know, our identity, you know, being stolen, right? All these things didn't happen to, to the other nation, right? You can't have a, a part of our redemption. Because you didn't have a part in our, you know, in our narrow, our difficult, right? Because when you look up the word um, narrow, it says a position of difficulty, right? No? That's straight here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, if you didn't went in, I'm going to say, yeah, it's like the script to say, if they go through the um the narrow entrance, you know these need and they go through the narrow entrance, they wasn't would be by they're picking cotton, you know. Are getting caught no, wasn't, it wasn't dumb. You know, they wasn't done with the with the struggle, you know, so to speak. Right? <laughs> he wasn't with me in the hey, streets. Like um uh this movie uh name uh Mississippi Masala. It's an old movie with uh that the Washington back in the day, right? Basically showing that um, in America there was a, a East Indian and African American, so to speak, just using worldly terms, community, right? You know, and they are um, they wanted to unite, right, to fight against the oppression of Isa, right? But one of the things that the East Indian they wouldn't. Um, but he get to body body in the, with the escalate. So, you know, um, there's a Washington character, right? 
right? Well, the father of this Karacho, on his other arm, um, said, he said, um, he said, um, he said, united we stand, divided we fall, unless you unite with one of them daughters, then you are fall. <laughs> You know? Yeah. So, hey, the, I mean, it's the same thing. Um, this this fellow, rating. yeah, um, the name President Ali, Ali, you know, doing. You know, he trying to push a um, thing one, that we is a united front, you know, a one guy, you know, something, but really and truly, these dumb, these, these heathens, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't love us. Trying to uh, distract people from uh, uproars of people, right? Because if if we really know what he, uh, we we know what to do it. Two thirds of Israel don't know what they're doing, but it. Yeah. And and certain people who in the know, telling them, right? But JK JK things like what are we gonna do? Because what the peace and safety, the comfortable. I always say down here is like Nineveh. But these things they gonna repent. So here's like Nineveh, they say, we waited for your house to try to flip. Most like, like, time, 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 the time coming. The same event is going to take. You can go back to the, the regular life like normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because um, yeah, right. the Jake feel powerless, yeah. right? They don't think, really and truly, a lot of Jake, you know, they don't think that they have rights, right? They think they're right. It's come from having a hidden friend or money, you know? Yeah, or make making a lot of money, right? And that's what the um, scripture talk about it. That's actually one of the curses of Deuteronomy. Yeah. Right? It says, Thy life shall hang in doubt. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You because know, Jake have no sort of you no know, form of security in this place. Yes. No sort of promising future. Yeah. No, no sort of short. But then what is the thing that's why Yahweh promises us that we got something in sort of because it leaves to the heathens. They're called they confederate against us. Right? Right. So with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash, double on the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, citation of 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children left to be saved, and Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Kwami Asherala, Kwami Asherala, Kwami Asherala, Kwami Asherala, Kwami Asherala, Kwami Asherala, Shalom, Shalom.